Man, what? Grrr, bow, man. Y'all know what the fuck is going on, man. We about to watch playback <laughs> react to uh, Kanye West saying or doing whatever the fuck Kanye West do, man. But make sure y'all do me a favor. Go sh go like, comment, subscribe on their video. And of course, hit that like button down below. The bell, everything, man. Show love to the kid, to the boy, you heard? Trying to grow out here, man. Let me know what else y'all want to see after this. But we're going to get straight into it. That's right. You're not you're not a nazi you don't deserve to be called that and demonized i i see i i see good things about her also the jew oh sure yep mm -hmm. this nigga is lost my brother my brother i love everyone i'm done with the classifications every human being has something of value that they brought to the table okay. especially hitler so kanye okay especially hitler come on bro you look like he what what Ye is hit and miss, bro. It's hit and miss. Sometimes he is he's very intuitive. He knows what the fuck is going on. I think he he's doing the same thing he did with the White Lives Matter shirt. It's the same thing he's doing right now with the Hitler is a good person or whatever the fuck. Because it's grabbing y'all attention. It's putting emphasis on the conversation that needs to be had, I guess. And I, I guess further back in his point for whatever reason. But he's doing it in such an extreme case that everything is being diluted. Because that, that whole interaction just made no sense to me. Some of the shit he said, nah, but that was that was just crazy, bro. Yeah, over the past like month, he's been saying some really ridiculous and outrageous really things. Really ridiculous, um, outrageous. Yes. A lot of which that was crazy. were not only on Twitter, but also in various interviews. All of this has culminated with an interview he did with Alex Jones yesterday on InfoWars. And boy, boy, was it ridiculous. So bad that even Alex Jones himself was like, all right, Kanye, all right. You sure this is, you didn't really mean that. He tried to, you know, make sure Clean he kind of guide him down the right path. And this Kanye nigga was like, has no, no this is the path I was going. I, I know what I'm I telling mean. you, bro. I love Jewish people. I'm not saying. I'm not Kanye knows what he's doing, bro. He's not he's not stupid. Like all the shit he's saying either to him means something or or it's trying or he he wants it to to push something so that uh, like it's like it's like this. This is how I see what Kanye be doing. He put something super extreme out there, super left so that it have it grab everyone's attention and then he will follow it up with Little increments of other true shit or shit that he actually wants to push, or vice versa. Like he'll put the true shit out first, and then it don't catch attention, or it does, and he'll slam y'all with some other bullshit. Like I don't, I don't know what he's going for personally. But I also love it. Nazis. What the, <laughs> like what the fuck? Oh man, what are we uh, talking I about? Have to disagree with that. And a lot of you know sound bites. Let's just say that a lot of sound bites. I think you all have probably seen a lot of them. It's a lot of things to take away from this. First and foremost, um, I want I want to take the approach of Kanye West as like an individual. The things he said. I, I'm gonna say a lot of things in which Kanye says. I'm not gonna see him be like those those niggas on Twitter be like. You gotta really think about it though, man. Really, nah. A lot of, a lot of some of things you say some bullshit. Out of context. You took it out of context. Nah, nah, not, uh, not, not uh, hilariously though, many of people are taking out of context. I saw um, Keemstar and people are like um, quoting what he said, and I'm like, this is such a layup of a thing. No, you don't the have first to take intro it out of clip could only be taken out of context because they cut to commercial. Yeah, break I know, I know. So, they, Alex, Alex Jones, that's another like, thing too. I'm not even. Gonna, I did not watch this whole clip. I did not watch the whole, like. I don't know. I don't know what he said from the beginning to the very end. These are clips that I'm taking, and I'm just formulating my opinion based off it. That's not because I'm scared or nothing like. This is the truth. Like. I could be missing out on some other valuable shit he may or may or not have said. But when you say outlandish, crazy left shit like that, like left field shit like that, automatically people are not even trying to digest the truth or whatever message you're actually trying to push. So, in a sense, it's just better off to understand, like to watch shit from start to beginning versus game. Yo, you, you sure that's what you want to say? He was like, yep. He's like, all right. Let's write this up real quick. Go to commercial break real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to commercial break. <laughs> Kanye was just saying things about redacted. We'll call him redacted. We'll okay, call him redacted. That's good. Yo, so um Kanye was saying a bunch of things about redacted and he was claiming that the reason why he has to love him is because he's a Christian. The problem with uh -huh. what he was saying he was? about No no no, he's saying Kanye's oh, a Christian. Oh, because Kanye's a Christian, Kanye's love Christian all he gets to love all people. Got it. And that's the reason why you get those mm. clips of him saying he loves redacted. I like Hitler. I, I don't like Hitler. And I know you're trying to be shocking with that. I'm not trying to be shocking. I like Hitler. I do not I the the Holocaust is not what happened let's look at the facts of that and hitler has a lot of redeeming qualities and he didn't kill six million jews that's just like factually incorrect and Obama yo was
I'm saying, all right? I, just, I don't. I want to understand what he's saying. Like, I feel like he's saying some outlandish shit about Jews for the simple fact that, okay, I could my brain could be bugging out. Maybe I'm tripping, right? I'm not trying to justify this shit. I'm just trying to understand because at, the end of, at, at this point, it's just, a, a, I'm want to know why the fuck he's saying what he's saying. Because the shit is so crazy that no regular person would be like, yeah, I like Hitler. Actually, he's a pretty good person. He's a really good, decent person. All the shit he did in the Holocaust, that shit was made up. Shit was not real. The shit did not happen. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm thinking he's saying all this crazy shit for the sim for. You know I'm watching. Was not the first black president. He was another Jewish president. And, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs that shook people down to a lot of really bad things. But they did good things too. We're gonna stop dissing the Nazis all the time. Okay. The problem with Kanye was saying is that he would follow up that statement by then claiming that Redacted did a bunch of things that were positive to the world, exactly. such as invent highways and microphones. But you know, you do any type of um, research and you realize that's that's just not true. Also, it's like it's it's so impersonal the way he describes Redacted lived his life. Yes. Because if Redacted annihilated your entire family tree you i don't think you'd be congratulating yeah, him yeah, okay and this and i'm glad they said that this is this is where i'm starting to think that okay this is going to sound crazy too he's saying this wild crazy shit about jews because he knows the reaction now let's flip it if somebody came up here and was saying some wild crazy shit about black people in the sense of how how evil and in, in how they demonize hitler the same way they demonize uh, uh, white people. Like, it's, it's just so different. Like, the world is on his ass about him saying this about Jewish people. But let, let him have said this about black people. Yes, he did say that crazy shit about the slaves. Okay. But he is not the only one who say crazy shit about black people. And it's... I feel like the same... The shit that happened... That's happening to him now did not happen when he was saying that crazy shit about black people. And vice versa for anybody else. When he says some crazy shit about black people, no consequence. Now, when he says something about, just saying, for example, Jewish people or any other ethnic group, there's a very big, or just any group in general, any organization in general, there's a very big, there's a very big consequence behind it. You see what, you see what happened with his bread. You see, you see the spiral and where and where and you know I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just, I'm just opening the conversation I guess because this that's the only way I can make sense of where I think or where, where I want to believe he's going because this you is would crazy. probably feel some type of way if somebody was glorifying no him. now now he did say he mm -hmm. loves the surgeon that put and had um that gave the surgery to his mother that many people believe caused her death her untimely death so i don't know he he's on this paint this um, of, of love all people love all people so it's, that's an interesting approach it. because one it is it is christian to love all people yes, it, it is, is kind of what is taught i don't know if in practice to be anyone's it's ever loved exactly, really exactly, all exactly, people exactly. No. but that's what kanye is attempting to do here taking mm -hmm. everything verbatim but but the part where he's missing is like he's attributing a lot of growth and success to redacted when in all reality the attribution should be to war war almost always comes with plenty of technological advances because you're highly incentivized to want to annihilate whatever your opponent is and For redacted sure. was not pushing that actually the things that he claimed like the highway and microphones existed I don't even before know redacted was even in the army before he was well known before he had any influence on the world i have no idea what kanye's talking and, about at all and, like, and it's like all. wars in general push shit forward the cold war push shit forward any type of war yeah. push it forward because by that logic let's just have more wars while we love yeah nah, nah we should we should definitely not have more the reason why wars are even it's just i don't i don't yeah, I don't know. This is a hard take right here, bro. Of all people, you can't do that. The idea of war is like people's lives end. Like yes. threats are made. Like countries can fall apart. Like mm -hmm. people get conquered and land gets conquered and fucked mm -hmm. up things happen. Families, it doesn't happen out of love. So families get divided, homes get destroyed, um, PTSD, food, the language, the possibly the fucking culture. You, the, the different worldviews after war, the ramifications of war are, is usually more negative than it is positive. But, yeah.
So love all people can't happen if it's coming at the cost of human lives. That's not what love is. One. Two, Thanks. in Germany at the time, there were plenty of companies benefiting dramatically, dramatically from the war like Volkswagen. Volkswagen owns an entire mm. tree of companies. Volkswagen's not the only one. There's plenty of companies that got their too. starts back when World War II was going on. So it, it's II, interesting how like he has like a nugget too. of potential truth. Like this man. And that's what I, that's kind of what I'm saying, right? I'm not saying everything he's saying is true, but Kanye definitely has a foundation to where he throws knowledgeable, informative shit in there, but it also can be diluted with a bunch of bullshit. I don't know if that's what he wants to do or if that's the, the goal or if he's by just, it's just so happening to keep happening. But that's what's going on with this thing. man invented this or this man was the reason why this became the thing. Mm -hmm. And maybe that was good for the world. By ignoring the overwhelming yeah, over, amount yeah, of yeah. negative that came with that. It's the like full you're circle. almost in opposition of love. You're, you're and, and so I think that's out, yes. where the fucking difference is here. Yes. And I don't believe if Kanye was personally affected by Redacted that he would be showing I'm as much you. love as he is right he now. Said, he said that the same thing with the surgeon. He said that the surgeon that potentially may I, have. I, I, I mean, that's what I'm just telling you. That's, that's what he said. That's cold. That's cold. I know, but and, I'm just, I'm just telling you that copium. I know, I'm and that's you. tough. Like, I'm what you, happened to his mother is highly unfortunate. Another conversation that needs to be held. I believe that whatever happened to the shit, the things that happened to his mother uh, after that surgery and her untimely uh, death is a. What's the word I'm looking for? I feel like it's caused to where. He spiraled. He started to spiral with some of the things, and some of the, I guess the ment, the where the mental, the mental part of his battle began, because you gotta think about it, bro. You go see your mom one time, and then you go on to fish, you go on for surgery, and she doesn't make it out, bro. That shit. Regardless of whatever the case may be, your mom's passed away, bro. That shit is, especially if you love her, that shit is not gonna be easy to handle. Some people do handle it better than others. Some people don't, bro. I feel like that's not really one of those wounds that's, that's. Easy, like that's that you're just gonna easily get past, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are gonna be some ramifications of that, but mm, I don't. I get that, but that's what and he said. Though. It looks like that affected him in way yes. more ways than we could probably yes. count. Yes. yes. Kanye has devolved to the fact. point where he will hear a truth, a fact, and mm -hmm. he'll use that fact to justify a very crazy belief. But it's almost yep. as if he's to trying to get people talking. Like, I, th just I, I swear, I think that's what he's trying to do. For whatever reason, whatever conversation that needs to be held, he's just trying to get people thinking, talking, and the only way he may know how or the only way he sees sees the conversation or the, the line being pushed is when he say crazy shit. And I gotta I gotta say I agree. I'm not gonna say I agree with what he's saying, but I agree with to a certain degree with what he's doing because he is creating a dialogue with a lot of conversations and a, he's pushing a lot for a lot of shit because now niggas is looking around like Yo, what is, but I hope it's gonna I feel like it's gonna at some point get to the point where people are gonna be looking at him and when he says something maybe I could be wrong but people are gonna look at him and when he says something they're gonna be like oh geez crazy guy talking you know what I'm saying even though they have been doing that I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I love all people. I even love you, Alex Jones, considering all the things you did. Yes. But he went to the most extreme. Yes, I can't true. think of a more extreme person, maybe Mao, maybe Stalin, than Redacted. Yeah. I can't, bro. Yeah. He's yeah. one of the worst Hitler in history. So, oh, so, wait, can I and so the same thing, he did the same thing even with the, the quote-unquote Jewish media argument as well, because that was a conversation that was had for like a month. The problem with even that logic is the same thing, is that there may be some truth behind it, but it's yes. misplaced yep. in the much bigger picture. He's diluting the like, fucking... Especially when people sit there and say like, this person is a Jew and that person is a Jew, that person is a Jew. And that's the problem right there. It's too many, like, no, the problem isn't that these people are Jewish. The problem is that they're um, capitalists. Like that's, that's that's how capitalism works. So the argument of of these um, Jewish um, hierarchy people who yeah. messed up these contracts for me and my people who uh -huh. got us all messed up and now we owe them money and then we in these ass backward co contracts. The reality is that it doesn't matter that person is Jewish. Christian, black or white, because from my understanding, Kanye, you also put people in fucked up contracts. From my understanding, oh, Kanye, you was also participating in several fucked up contracts, yay? Hmm. With the rap shit? Hmm. I think Big Sean did say some shit similar to that.
things that may have fucked over people as well. So the reality is it had nothing to do, had literally nothing to do with, with Jewish people. It has everything to do with capitalism. But once more, like you said, some facts that may become behind it, some small little truths and nuggets or nuggets of truths. And then you then extract that and then come to some crazy conclusion without actually addressing the real concerns. And the reason why that's problematic is not only because that can breed hate in many ways, but more importantly, it also misguides other people from also being taken advantage of or just being misinformed. So yep. now if you run around thinking to yourself, I ain't gonna mess with Jewish people, I ain't gonna mess because they do X, Y, Z. Then you mess around with somebody who's black, who's white, a woman, a man, because you oh, think you you're do. trying to- Yeah, that's what I'm, I don't, I don't really understand the, the point of the, the, the Jewish talk, but it, it, it was very interesting to see how it slowly, it slowly built up to where it is now, to the point where it's like, you kind of saw the ramifications of this shit, and I and I feel as though a lot of people have wanted to speak on these issues, or in the past have spoken these issues, and either similar things have happened, or people just ignored it. You know what I'm saying? But when Kanye says something about it, it kind of put a, a shining light on it. And even even when the Nick Cannon shit, that shit was kind of crazy to me. And I I'm not really I don't really fully remember everything Nick Cannon said, but I felt like. He really, I don't know if he said it. He kind of said a few crazy lines, and I ain't gonna sit here and lie. But overall, I feel like even with Kyrie, like it just is a, it's weird. Like they, you say something, and then the ramifications is crazy. Like nah, they don't say nothing like that. Smack, you know what I'm saying? And they feel that shit. They exclude the people who hurt you and come to find out those people are just inclined to take advantage of you because you're capitalist. Like that's just how that works. But that's the problem with not only Kanye, but a lot of people on the internet right now where they think that they are truth seekers and uh -huh. then they, but they, they are completely misguided by like small, small bits notes. of information. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like very, very, very small bits of information. Mm -hmm. And normally on YouTube, you can get away with it. Um, when, especially when you're a small creator, but like Kanye is to a point where he's just too big of a platform to be walking around spewing rhetoric that just isn't based in reality or is loosely based in reality. And the interesting yeah. thing about that is Kanye is one of the very few human beings on planet Earth that get this much understanding. In the past, I've even laughed yes, at something Kanye true. said. Oh my God, that's a great quote. I've laughed at shit he said in interviews and then years went by yeah, and he turned out- He does, he does. But I feel like it's it's a it's a blend, bro. It's a, it's a blend of he does and he doesn't. Like sometimes people laugh it off. Like, I mean, as- Think about it, bro. For years, people have laughed at Kanye. The last, the last few years, he's been saying some crazy shit. And I feel like just now, certain things are starting to catch. Some things, no, no, I agree. exactly what I just said. Over the last few years, he's said some shit and people have ignored it. But over the past few, like recently, shit has been catching. Or like those old things he was he say now is kind of being recycled in the media now. Like they're just now coming back up. Or you kind, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's because the spotlight is on him or because they have some truth, those those nuggets of truth or whatever, but hey. He was right. So I kind of learned to take a step back and really listen to what he's saying exactly. to try and understand. And after taking a day to just understand, this nigga went on Twitter, made his um, Twitter profile picture a, a swastika with the Star of David, yeah, and, yeah. and, and he eventually that. got banned from there. Yeah, trying to understand what he's doing. I think he's devolved dramatically in the past decade. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah, been saying and, and doing a lot of crazy that. things. That that's what, that's what J. Cole said about him, too. They're worth listening to. In, in, in attempt to understand, it doesn't mean you had to agree, but he's mm -hmm. one of the few people on the planet that get this level of understanding from people where no matter what he says everyone's gonna stop to be like hey hold on let's put it in context and think about it like this was he really wrong i don't even really mind i don't i don't really mind putting it into context because i'd much rather no, people the context do that is, but it's i just but don't I, believe I, I that people that are doing that with no, no, Kanye I agree, I agree. do that with anybody they don't, else they don't they so, don't bro but the, okay so the reason why i say i don't mind afterwards they do. if I think they don't do that do. then it further gaslights and put, put fuels in the faint flames of all these people who are thinking like oh they, they're out to get us oh the, look look at how like because if you want to sit here and allow somebody to quote unquote say the jewish media and then if you go get headlines of them taking them out of context and they're mind they're gonna be like see they just did it again so I, I don't mind putting things into context when necessary especially when somebody who is living on the edge and believing all of these conspiracy theories taking the time out to put them in proper context to then later just prove them wrong still with all of the context is actually much more impactful and powerful because then that person has to sit back and reflect and come back with some other cockamamie <laughs> ridiculous excuse yo pause that was crazy but uh 
deeper reason to why they said those things or they actually have to adjust themselves because there actually isn't no there is no logic behind what they were saying before and i think and i to be fair i agree with you that we don't we don't give that much understanding to anyone else like there's a handful of put people does. where we'll sit there and say hold yes, on now let's give him a second now i think dave Chappelle is also there but he just ain't on that dave side dave Chappelle makes jokes about complicated topics kanye is just no but i think there's not a, I, dave dave i feel like dave gets that Especially now, I feel like Dave gets that. I think there's a subsection of people who like, hold on, now, you gotta hear Dave out. Man. No, I agree. I'm with those subsection though. Yeah, yeah. Because he's yeah. making he's making jokes about articulate subjects. But that's a difference. Yeah, he's actually making about. sense. Kanye's just Kanye, saying things to get reactions. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. completely different yeah, things here. Yeah, yeah bro, y'all niggas not give. But yeah, I mean, that's really the take takeaway I get from that man. I feel like this kind of is going to get a little bit repetitive, so I'm gonna stop it right here. But yeah, man. Uh, how y'all? Let me know how y'all feel about Ye and what he be saying, man. Man, let me know down below in the comments, man. Shout out to uh, Playback, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know what else y'all want to see below, man. All right, I'm out.